Sorry, boy. <laughs> I'm horrible, aren't I? Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings. I already made that little intro, so you know we're talking about the week of November the 16th to the 22nd, 2020. This is the last week of the star sign Scorpio. You probably recall from hopefully watching last week's um, energy reading that this week we are being asked to look into our darker side. Um, that doesn't mean we have a lot of dark sides. It just means like things where, you know, where we take our sarcasm a bit too far, where we have failings, so we probably are hurtful rather than understanding. So what I'm getting is, or what I got from doing or getting last week's messages was that this is the week where we really ask to probably have a look at our manners. Good luck. <laughs> right? So let's just have a look at how deep this actually goes. Um, but it is interesting because we just had a little conversation here earlier that this seems to be the time where every time we do a reading, the guides ask us to stay within and explore um, whatever still sits inside us that either doesn't serve us anymore mm -hmm. or where we could actually do with some change. Yeah. So it's very personal, if that makes sense. And I mentioned in one of the other episodes that I noticed that people lose a little bit of empathy with one another because everybody is worried. And because we're asked to go within, that would suggest to look at ourselves only. That's not how I see it. Remember, if you, if you become too isolated and you lose empathy for your fellow men, um, we create a world where it's each to their own. That's not what we are. We are still very social animals, mm -hmm. so to speak. So um, remember, I said that last week, love is the highest energy you can create. So let's create it. Whatever the guides say to us this week, please bring this outside, if that makes sense. Because if, if, if it, should it transpire that they ask us to look into our nest, nastier sides, right? And we're changing it. We might as well learn, now that we're being nice, <laughs> to bring it to, to um, the people outside as well, right? Okie dokie. So... Let's have a look at the overall energy properly. Let's see what we got. <laughs> okay, we have the wolf and the peacock. What that means is this is a week where in order to look at things, okay boy, in order to look at things, we need to be in charge of anything and everything that happens, okay? Really, really important. So. We're being asked to be in charge, which also means to acknowledge things. And then we have the peacock, an interesting um, symbolism, because the peacock has this beautiful wheel, which he only puts up because it has a thousand eyes, as we call it, which means it keeps away predators. And because this is our overall energy, that's partly what we're doing. We are, we are strong. Right? We're wolves. We try to, to um, lead our packs as best we can. And every time there is trouble, we just deflect. Not a bad idea, but sometimes when you're being nice, rather than saying to someone when they're out of line, that's partly the problem because then people keep on coming. Right? So I'm not 100% sure where we're going with that overall energy because it, to me it feels unfinished, if that makes sense. But that's why we're having the... Um, the star signs, I suppose, or that becomes clear. Um, there's another symbol, symbolism with the peacock. Okay, you heard this before, size isn't everything. <laughs> this is how this works. Mrs. Peacock chooses Mr. Peacock by the size of his tail. Okay, it's a true story. <laughs> the tail, right? See, people and their thoughts. <laughs> okay, what happened is, they have lost some of their habitat, so now they have become birds that do not fly. And the length of his tail means for him to be more vulnerable, because he really can't move that well, but he wouldn't do anything to the tail because it gets him the girls. <laughs> so in, what I'm getting is that sometimes um, the feeling with the peacock is maybe the reason why we're saying, like, you know, just stay away from me, and I try to say this in the nicest way, um, doesn't show you my vulnerability. And that 
I understand when I look at the messages that we got last week that we're being asked to look into things where maybe we have failings or maybe where someone else failed us and what it did to us, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's just the messages that we got as overall energy for this week. And now we're going into Scorpio. Last time we're gonna we're gonna go we're getting into we're going into Sagittarius on the 23rd, and this week ends um, on the 22nd. Okay, dokie. So here is the um, message for Scorpio. Interesting. So we have reward yourself and the relationship card. So straight away, we're straight into the energy of being kinder mm -hmm. to ourselves, yeah. looking after ourselves, not being as hard on ourselves because we've been giving a lot of ourselves to other people, people around us, um, just just really giving out too much energy to others and sometimes they haven't deserved it. So this is very much about um, pulling that energy back, giving to yourself, making time for yourself and giving that balance of giving and receiving back a little bit. Um, the relationship card, this, this is very much in tune with this because this is about the relationship with yourself. Um, that's the, the main relationship and the most important relationship is within yourself because how can you give to others and be to others when you're not giving and being true to yourself um, so they really do balance and go together here and it's all about balance with yourself loving yourself and feeling loved within yourself not being as hard on yourself so just let people out there see that you are vulnerable sometimes as well. It's not all about them and their vulnerability, it's you as well. Okay? Okay, that was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Let's have a look what we got for Sagittarius. And I'm getting three guides or three signs. <clears throat> the main message is for Scorpios, uh, sorry, for Sagittarians, is this week to look into your relationship with your flesh and blood family member. That doesn't mean you necessarily have to look into what they're doing now or get in touch should your relationships, should relationship with these members be frailed or you know strained or whatever. But this is about losing some of the drama that has happened in your life basically growing up. Right? So this is where the universe will try its best to um, push you to look at things that didn't work at that and that and that originated from that family unit flesh and blood <coughs> first and foremost um, what i'm getting is for um sagittarians is to again this is this is really funny because we're looking at the darker side mm. and we were asked um you know to show kindness and yet the message here is to stop being kind because if you excuse people's behavior because of maybe conditions they have or because of the fact that they had a difficult life reality is it doesn't matter how bad my life is that doesn't give me the right to make your life difficult mm -hmm. and so what we're getting here is for you to get rid of this illusion that you put up that people are nicer than they are and then we have the drum as the outgoing energy for this week which means you need to or, or to look at all this because the drum is saying when you do that when you say like you know what i've been trying this this is what i'm getting i've been trying this for such a long time um, and it doesn't quite seem to work the drum is basically the, the the instrument that cleanses it where you kind of go like and now that i looked at it reflected on it now i can make change right so they're not asking to you to be aggressive but what they're saying is the feeling that they're giving me is that Sometimes the reason why nothing works in the family is because nobody says anything proper, so it cannot be solved. Mm -hmm. And um, even though there's nothing here for you to um, that, that suggests you go in there all guns blazing, your, your thing this week has to be to look at family and remember what was said and done and how does it still make you feel. And is forgiveness without change really the, 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 the best way to go? 
Okay, so overall, it doesn't feel to be a, a low energy week, but it's quite an in your face week for star signs, yeah. right? Which we cannot change because we only work here. Fidget, what's wrong with you? These are some all over the place. You notice yeah. this? Yeah. Probably it's because there, we have this new thing here. There's a light There's in the background. Light. There's yeah. a bright light here. And he probably thinks he's getting inter interrogated. <laughs> You're right, boy. Hmm? Here we go. So we're going from um, Sagittarius into Capricorn. And I'm going to use that time to let Fidget out. Yes. Okay? It's fidgety. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, Capricorns, we have See Only Love and the Innocence card. Um, so with this, it's, it's very much looking past errors and mistakes that people are making, um, looking within each person. So, you know, how we look at people and we instantly can see errors and things that they've done wrong or things that rub you up the wrong way. And this card's very much about looking past all those because often we don't see what's going on underneath and that's what's going on at, at the moment with the capricorns that not seeing what's behind the scenes with people around them so to speak so it's just a little bit about um just um don't take it face value so i feel there may be a little bit of brunt speaking going on or harsh words going on but there's often situations behind that so don't take it too personally um, and the innocence card that, that goes with this this is very much about having the brighter outlook with these people as well just giving them a little bit of your peace and a little bit of your love because often that's what these people need because they're going through some times at the moment so for, for this period of time, you're needing to be the calm, you're needing to be the one giving out the love, you're needing to be the one um, just looking past what's going on right in front of your face with people around you, if that makes sense, and just letting them work through what they need to work through a little bit, because um, it could rub you up the wrong way. Okay, that was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Um, probably should mention this. Um, obviously, you know, there's now different tiers that, that, that cities are in here in the UK at least. Um, we're still planning, should this all boil over, to do Psychic Nights. Mm. We, we did a Psychic Night together a while ago and we decided that when, it, when we can do it, yeah. we will do Psychic Nights. And then we will also mention them on, on these videos, if that makes sense, right? Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention this because... Um, be working from home is great. Being indoor all the time is not. No. <laughs> and um, and I, I personally uh, am a person, I, I like to be out and about yeah. and I like to have the interaction with, with people. And, and so as nice as it is to work from home and, how, and as grateful as, as I am, and I'm sure you are too, yes. for having clients, <coughs> it's just not the same than running a circle. <laughs> so we said once this is all better, we will look into venues um, to be out there again because Normally when we do this, it's the guys talking to us. When you do a psychic night, different guides show up yeah. and you get a very different way of uh, messages, so to speak. And sometimes people come through. It would be pointless to send your grandmother here when we do um, a message for a star sign, which means it would be the, would be the grandmother of one person <laughs> and not a hundred. So um, just saying, uh, saying that it also is very interesting um, to experience different things. Just wanted to mention this. Um, so now we're going into Aquarius. Let's see what we got for that star sign. Okay, this is a week for Aquarius to go inside, to go within, to go and look at who you truly are because this is a week where the universe is saying to you, have a look at your self-esteem. What happened there? Even if you, or should you have a regularly high self-esteem, how come you're making fun of yourself at times? Mm. <coughs> what I'm getting is that not every um, Aquarius has a low self-esteem. 
but it's very easy once I know how to push your buttons to make you feel less. That's what the guides give me. And so what the universe is asking you, what the guides are asking you this week is to take time out to regenerate, to get your strengths back. And because you have the scar up here, which is um, a dung beetle, but it's just a much more fancy term. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a beetle, but it's really de revered in Egypt, where it's called a scar up. And because he's a, a, an insect, the message is look at and learn to see how important you are for, 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 um, to be in this world, if that makes sense. You know, you, you don't have a random place in this universe. You mean something here. And so it is important to look at this um, just for yourself to say, like, yeah, I'm actually doing all right and I have purpose. Because you have the fish, which is all about feminine energy, which is kindness, softness, even though I've met some feminines that weren't so kind and soft. <laughs> Different topic, thought I'd bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> the, the message for Aquarius is to, um, to realize that you also need a bit of space for yourself. So it is also, it is really good, therefore, to just step back with everything um, without going into depression, because that's the feeling that the guides give me, that uh, for Aquarius, Aquarians that, that suffer from um, anxiety or depression or, or mental health issues, when you try to reflect, you reflect on stuff that might actually not be the biggest problem, it's just you see it as the biggest problem, you see the negatives which doesn't really work. So this is what the guides are saying is, watch how you, uh, how you overthink, because I'm getting overthinking a lot with Aquarius. Uh, other than that, um, just remember basically how awesome you are and that you have a, a purpose and take some time off just to recharge your battery. And then let's see what next week has got for all of our day. So that was Aquarius going into Pisces. Mm, our signs? Yes. <laughs> oh, what's coming? Okay, not too bad actually. Um, let your past go and creative project. So the first card um, is absolutely about looking forward now not looking back, not going over what has been, what was. Um, it's all about leaving the past alone. So if there's things that, that are still in your past that you're bringing back and you're not sure, it's absolutely the time now to put those things to bed, to shut the lid on that box because they're not serving you anymore. They don't need to be part of your lives anymore. It's very much just, just leave them, don't look back. Because there's new projects coming, the Creative Project card, and this is a really, really good card. So this is about looking to your future, planning your future, planning new projects, planning where you want to go. It's, it feels, there's a lovely, exciting energy that's coming along with this. So it's all about um, you being able to express yourself now within things that you want to do in your future. Because there's a feeling that you've been uh, held back, you've not been able to go forward and to do what you've wanted to do um, and the new things that you've wanted to do. And I, I feel you've been dampened down, really. And, and I wouldn't say held down, but just sort of dampened down a little bit in your enthusiasm. Held down. Held yeah. Down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being kind. <laughs> um, in the enthusiasm. <coughs> so now it's time to actually be more free, be more open and start planning your life. I know we've got COVID, so, you know, obviously we have to go along with the rules and things like that, but it doesn't stop us thinking, it doesn't stop us planning, and it doesn't stop us being excited about when we can get out there and when we can do and get yourself ready for it, yeah. because there's good times coming. Which also makes sense because you know, sometimes I'm surprised why, why in the middle of a reading I start bringing up the, the, the psychic nights outside. Yes. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because normally I make it a point not to um, to highlight anything because the idea is this is a free service. And sometimes when you say like, oh, you know, book me, <laughs> if that makes sense, people can find our names here and they book us anyway, which is yeah. good. We're quite fortunate. Yeah. But the reason why it is not mentioned is because there are pages that I want to share this to. And they say the moment it is, it is advertising, 
we really can't have it. And for us, it's important to give people the message. So we don't do this, if that makes sense. So I was a bit surprised that all of a sudden this, let's do some, some psychic yeah. nights again, you know, then again. And then it comes you know, out. And then it comes out. So but that it makes sense because that probably was already um, yeah. going into, into Pisceans. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Awesome. So <clears throat> going into Aries. Look. Okay. Aries, you have the swan and the rum. Can't pronounce that word rum. I think it's one of those gold types. <laughs> rum. Yeah. See, short words are not as easy. Rum is in ham. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all good. <laughs> okay, all the guys are saying is <laughs> what are we like? <laughs> Okay, so let's look at Aries. You have the swan, which means this week you have nothing to prove to anyone. The feeling that I'm getting is that you already tried to express concern. You also keep explaining um, things to people because you want to help them. And all the guides are saying is if they don't listen, don't explain. You know, don't hold their hand on the way down, if that makes sense. It doesn't mean you're being unkind, but what I'm getting is it, it, energetically speaking, it seems to be draining to you to try to help people along the way when they're clearly not paying attention. And it more feels like, feels more like if someone asks you for, for your <clears throat> um, opinion, then give it. Don't give it all the time because you're trying to help. If people don't want to listen, then they have to make the, 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 the worst experience because they weren't listening. Mm. So <clears throat> there's a detachment here that is needed uh, for Aries. And then you have the rum, is in ham. <laughs> you have this guy who says to you, 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 you step back a little bit, you recharge your battery. Because the rum is obviously an animal that can climb quite high. Um, which means higher energy, um, even more air, therefore new ideas. So what they're saying is if you stop over worrying um, with regards to what people do or don't do with their lives, um, you know, that doesn't mean you're less caring. It just means like, you know, um, this is what, what the guides give me. You have tried so many times and somehow there seems to be a blockage and you can't get through. So leave it for now. Mm. Right? <clears throat> and it's all they have for Aries. So this is a week for you to look at what patterns have you got in place. How much time do you actually spend trying to guide other people on their journey? It's, it's time for you to say, like, you know what, I've, I've, I did all this and sometimes to no avail. Now I'm looking at my own journey and maybe I can get my energy higher by just being with me for more, right? So that was Aries going into Taurus. This may sound weird. I cuddled Fidget this morning, and I was, you know, I mean, it's like, oh, no, boy. And now I have some sort of a fur ball here. <clears throat> there's something in there, you know, and I kind of like, oh, there's like a hair or something. <laughs> Just can't reach it, but I have this scratchy throat, you know, so. Not long and I will turn into, into Rod Stewart. <laughs> you, know, okay. you know, so I will start singing in a minute. That's <laughs> oh, no, just annoying because I, I, I can feel it here and it just won't leave me. And it itches and it goes, you know. <laughs> anyway, here is Taurus for you. Okay, for Taurians we have a new partner and reward yourself card again. So uh, the new partner, this is, um, it, can, it can mean two things. It can literally mean a new partner uh, coming into your life. Off you um, go. <laughs> <laughs> You're not touring. No, I know, I'm just a person. <laughs> you know. um, I have my med half hour now, it's not a good time. <laughs> oh, no. Or it can literally mean uh, there's going to be a chance meeting with somebody. So this can be somebody that you haven't seen for a while. Uh, somebody you're going to hear from. Um, can be a family member, can be a friend. Um, but somebody is somebody is coming back into your life that's gone out of your life or somebody new is coming into your life and um, the feeling that I get with this is um, this is the words I've been given is divine intervention so this is really really meant to be that this person is coming in so you know if that happens to you and you think well I'm not sure whether I should be letting them in or, or whatever 
um, it's absolutely meant to be okay and the reward yourself card again but slightly on a, a different connection with this so this is about um, this is about making time for you but making time for for you in a meaningful way um, you know just sort of things that you've really really been wanting to do putting off doing um, you know just just things that you like to do but keeping your energy up because the feeling I get with this is is that your energy has been dipping of late so um, you know it's just about lifting your energy doing things that you enjoy doing things that you like within the constraints that we've got at the moment um, because we just need to lift your levels and, and raise your levels a little bit because it just feels a little bit of negativity is coming in at the moment mm. uh, with Torians. So, and hence, I think, feel the reason that this person's coming in as well to help with that. Okay. okay. That was Torians going into Gemini. Let's have a look at Gemini. <clears throat> See what we got. In short, you got the, fo the fox and the uh, elephant. What that really means is this is a week of reflection. This is not a week of major action. This is the week where the universe is saying to you, like we said earlier in the overall energy, go within, allow things to come up, to come to the fore, that have um, affected you when they happened, and to a large extent, or at least to a certain extent, are still affecting you. So, do you trust less because you can see patterns in people that someone, that they have, that other people had, that, that where it didn't work out with. So is your observation now leading to wrong solutions? Are you not giving any chances because somehow they feel somewhat similar? Mm. So this is all these things where, where um, hard questions as well, for one of them are coming your way. And the fox is basically saying to you, you are a very old soul. Trust your intuition. Don't look into what happened to you and then assume that every other person or every person you meet must be the same kind of person. Because that's what the elephant stands for. It means you remember everything. And what I'm getting is, it's not necessarily that you are living in the past, but when the universe is trying to make your now more rewarding and much more livable and maybe even um, bring some new people in that would be awesome to have in your life, you block and remember if you expect uh, let's just say for argument <coughs> say uh, some, some, someone narcissistic to come into your life you almost manifest it because you're expecting it so the universe has to answer that you meet anyone on your energy so we had letting go with Pisces earlier um, you have the right and the freedom to say like you know what I'm going to be a bit of a Pisces, uh, Pisces this week I also let stuff go because that's actually what is needed for for Gemini, right? Um, it's pointless remembering all the bad things because it's also procrastinating um, about moving forward. So that's very overlapping. Yeah. And so what the guides are saying is it's time that you trust your intuition, allow yourself to remember that you know you can look right through people. So use that, right? And let them come have a new reality okay that's what i'm getting for gemini interesting thing is that oftentimes they give me different imagery where, where i know this can't be about everybody because of there's, there's people out yeah. there gemini's who have a very good relationship didn't say that once what what that means is that even if you are in a great relationship but didn't say you used the word perfect because perfect is man-made still also good to use your intuition on that relationship so that if there is something that begins that, that, that is beginning to be stale, to feel stale, or somehow is going amiss, that you can also address that right now. Okay? That was that. Now going into Cancerians. It's your fifth time, isn't it, that you're here? Is it? Yeah, fifth oh. time. Wow. And he's still putting up with me. Yeah, no, I, I enjoy <laughs> that. It's really cool. <laughs> okay. We have, uh, be honest with yourself, again. Yeah, it's very overlapping. We have that a lot. Yeah, and there's nothing to worry about. So, um, the first card, be honest with yourself. 
looking within. This is all about the overall energy for the week. Mm. This is um, very, very much Cancerians. I feel, I feel you're going through a tough time actually. Um, sort of sorting life out, sorting yourself out. Um, a little bit like the Aquarians, and I feel that you know you're going through a little bit of a tough time. Um, you're beating yourself up over things as well analyzing things too much um it's all about looking at the truth of situations seeing the truth of situations now uh because that's really what's needed um it's it is going to be a little bit of a heart to heart time i do feel um it's not going to be the easiest of, of times for you cancerians but it's a necessary time it's sorting out the wheat from the chaff that's an old saying that i've just been given so it's very much sorting out the wheat from the chaff um, in order to improve lives. Sometimes we have to do that. We have to get rid of rid of what we don't need in order to make room for what can come in and what we do need. Um, and the words that I'm getting, nothing. there's nothing to worry about. And basically this is don't worry how life's going to go forward, how you're going to move forward. You know, do what's necessary. Don't worry about the future. The future hasn't happened yet let that take care of itself just work with what what you've got to work with now because this situation um is under the control of divine guidance meant to be and the words i need to give you is that you are safe you are looked after you will be okay um you've just really got to go through this process now that is going to be a little bit of a tough process for some of you cancerians but you will come out of it and you will be okay okay that was Cancer going into Leo, drawn to a different deck. <clears throat> Leo's action is required. You have the rabbit and the groundhog. What that means is the rabbit is basically symbolism that says there's so many rabbit holes and they all go to different places and you can explore all of them as you please. You do not have to feel bound to anything that you feel is not working. If you are in a situation where you just, it's just what the guys give me, where you just may be feeling I'm losing opportunities here due to no fault of my own. What the guides are saying is let it go because you have the rabbit holes. Once whatever this is for you that you have to go through <clears throat> gets better, opportunities will just come because what is important for Leo's is to not thinking about the same stuff over and over again. You have all seen the movie Groundhog Day, I suppose, which we, which we mentioned before, yeah. um, a couple of uh, months back or whatever it was. And all they're saying is don't live the same life when you know this has never worked for me. Allow for new things, maybe things that you have never even looked at, to come to you and just trust. Because the rabbit is actually a really nice symbolism saying, this is miles deep. My, my rabbit hole here. It's miles deep. Um, the reason why I'm waving at you is after 33 minutes, the video stops and then goes into recording again. And then I have to do a little effect. So it uh, puts them all together. There's about four or five seconds, some even maybe less missing. So if I was in the middle of a sentence, I just go, nip, nip, nip. that's because it started recording again. You know, um, but the message is for, um, for, Leo's not to despair, even if you feel right now I'm, I'm, I'm not sure where this is going. It feels like you have worked hard to achieve something. And right now you're going through a phase of needing time for yourself. And that could come with losing some opportunities. And all the guides are saying is, if you lose them, then they weren't for you in the first place. And we will look after you, but you need to first allow yourself the time to look after yourself which is very nice because uh, the universe doesn't often promise um, <clears throat> but that's a promise okay that was Leo now we have Virgo and Libra left um, now we're going into Virgo and then I let uh, <laughs> um, Jane do the last star sign because I can't be bothered with that scratchy throat here right so the next two star signs um, yeah come from Jane <laughs> okay okay not a problem we have play and notice signs so um, play the f is the first one. This is about um, 
leaving work alone for now. Strange card to have at, at this time, but it's about leaving work and leaving things alone for now that are mundane, that are repetitive, that are boring. Don't keep going over and over and over the same things. This is about introducing some new things into your life, some fun things into your life. Again, building up the energy because um, there's the feeling energy is, is getting very low with a lot of people at the moment. Um, so it's how, you know, the, the energy and how we can all help to raise the energy just to get us all through some difficult times at the moment. So this is about bringing in what fun you can do and think about ways to do that rather than sitting in a dull energy and letting yourselves go lower and lower. And notice the signs. This is, this is, it's quite a spiritual card for me, this card. And it's all about being aware of your loved ones and your guides and all the energies that are around you that are trying to talk to you, trying to help you at the moment, trying to move you on at the moment. So just um, don't look for these signs, but just be aware that and notice that they're going to come around you. Strange noises, lights flashing, TV going on off and on. Just strange things and, and conversations that are going to happen now and people will say, oh, I got that too. But also dreams are really going to be important and being told at the moment. So there'll be some visitations, some things in dreams. So when you get them, trust yourself that it is what you what you think it is or who you think it is. Okay? And that, that's quite nice actually for Virgo. Virgo. So last star sign, Libra. I'm not gonna do anything. I just sit here. You're going to sit there and have a drink? Yeah, yeah, it's just, um, <clears throat> it's just what it is, you know? Oh, okay, let's have a look. Ooh. <laughs> nice ones. Okay, for Librans we have Cupid and Assertiveness. The Cupid card is all about love. All about love. So if you're in a relationship, um, the, the love that's in that relationship is going to manifest. It's very much, it's going to grow. You're going, you're going to actually become more together or you could come more together. Um, the romance, work on the romance a little bit more. That will help to bring you together more. Um, I have the feeling with this, it, it's very much about you're going to start planning your futures together more so now. Um, if there isn't a ring, there will be an engagement, there will be the planning of a ring, there will be the planning of weddings. It's very much a time for you to move forward now with the ne next stages of your life. Because um, the assertiveness card, it tells you about situations that you need to be assertive and need to push forward with. So if you've been holding back on those grand proposals or worried that they won't get accepted or um, for things that have gone in your, on in your past and you're holding back because of that, now is the time to leave all that behind and bite the bullet, go for it. Um, you will never know what's going to happen in these relationships if you don't move forward with them and try. You will only stay in grand old day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You yeah. will only stay in that scenario. So you need to break through those barriers, allow yourself to be more spontaneous and absolutely go for it because it's a good time. And I also feel, um, sorry for butting in here, um, it's because um, the feeling that the guides gave me is that obviously there's Libras out there who are single and they kind of go like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> this basically just means, with assertiveness, that you say to the universe and to yourself, I deserve to love and to be loved and ask for it. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's really important, you know. Yeah. Sometimes people have the tendency to wait, you know, and you kind of think, well, if I wait, it's a bit weird. People think when they wait, magically some hot chick or some awesome guy knock on your door. Yeah. Never happens. Yeah. All I see is some guy who brings me the post, you know, bills. And I think <laughs> what I'm saying is it's a bit weird to just sit somewhere and hope that people yeah. put, take notice because that's normally not what happens because you're in hiding. Yeah. So it's tough work and hard work for people to even notice you <coughs> and you decide to hide there. So because um, I get this for the, um, the, the single Librans, this is to say to the universe without being, and this is the trick, without being in frustration, oh I haven't loved in so, in, 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 in so long, 
this is completely understandable. When I'm not saying you know that there is no frustration when you feel life is passing you by, but it is a feeling that doesn't bring fruition because it brings your energy down. And when you say, rather than saying like, oh, I haven't loved in so long, right? <coughs> rather than saying like, oh, I hope I can still love, you know, people say that. Don't have these thoughts. Just say to yourself and to the universe, because obviously you, 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 you give, exactly, give permission for love to find you, right? Because what happens is when you say like, I am, I deserve to be loved, your energy changes. And you also will get off that bum of yours yeah. and do something and high energy attracts new people, including the good looking ones, <laughs> if that's what you're after. <laughs> it's just have the feeling that there was this feeling that I, that I got is to not um, let Libra understand that this is just for couples. Yeah. And that it is just about saying if you're not, it sounds a bit judgmental, but if you're not that lucky yet to be in that relationship, because that's the other thing people do wrong. You know, your life has to be awesome on its own and then everything else is a bonus. Don't ask for anyone to complete you because once they go somewhere, your life falls apart. It's, it's a bit of an illogical thing that people do, you know, <coughs> very pointless to think that way because then you're always asking for something to make you whole and you are whole when you kind of go like, I'm going for it now. And that's what I'm getting for Libra is just to be a bit more in your face. Yeah. If that makes sense, and things will come to you. Anyway, that's all we have time for, Jane. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's always awesome. Enjoyed it. And um, see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.